all right guys welcome to another video now in this video i want to show you how to install first how to deactivate sign master from your computer and at the same time how to then reinstall that sign master on another computer uh, because a ton of times people don't know you know how to do these things and it really gives them a lot of ish so uh that's what this video covers how to deactivate sign master from your current computer and then how to install it on another computer I trust you'll find this video very helpful and before we get started i want you to hit the subscribe button hit the like button turn on the notification bell let's get to the video so you start by uh, opening your system and clicking on the already existing copy of sign master on your system uh give it a minute or two it's going to if it pops this thing up just ignore it it's try to sell you something which is fine i suppose now, to deactivate, we'll start from this splash screen, right? Uh, we'll start from this splash screen, and then we go to license. On the license, you'll see what was there before, the, the computer number that was there, who was installed to, and all of that, and then you click deactivate. Now, it's going to pop this thing up, uh, asking you if you know exactly what you're doing. Uh, tell him you do by just clicking deactivate. Are you sure you want to remove the license from the computer? You will not be able to cut, export, print uh, once the program is not be activated. Yes. So you might want to finish all the cutting jobs you have on hand before you do this, because the moment you do that, you can't do anything else with this computer. So click yes. Uh, in order to prevent uh, unauthorized people from deactivating your program, you will need to enter the PSN that you used to install the program. All right, so uh, ideally you're supposed to have put that somewhere uh, and that somewhere for me is this somewhere. So I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste this in here and then click okay. Are you really sure you wish to answer all these questions? Just say yes. And then it'll think a bit and then deactivate you. So now it has been deactivated. So you exit and then you can close this up now and then close this up. So uh, the reason we have to do that first is because we needed to make sure that uh, we deactivate from this computer and then use the exact same information to uh, use on another computer. If you don't deactivate from here and you just uninstall, the first thing is you lose all that content. And then when you are now going to another system, it's still activated to that system. So if you keep doing that many times, you're just going to lose your license. And I think the license goes for like three or five computers. So if you already have so many computers running on your this thing, it's not really wise to uninstall without deactivating. So that's pretty much how to deactivate. It's that simple. So let's go to the other part. So the other part is uh, let's now uninstall it from the system. And then we're now going to reinstall it. So let's guy take a bit of time to populate that once it does. I'm just going to come here and type. Uh, I'm going to type sign master in here. And my master has a problem there. So yeah, that's sign master. So I'm going to click on it like this and then hit uninstall and then uninstall it. I'll click yes. I'll take about a second or two to do that. Uh, so it has all those terrible questions. Say yes. So. So it's going to take some time to uninstall. Once it does, it goes out of the screen and then you pop out. So see, Simon Star is gone, right? Great. So now we need to install it. I'm going to link, leave a link to Signmaster software in the link to this, in the description of this video. But trust me, if you don't have the license and the PSN, you can't work with it. All the ones you see here are pretty much grayed out, so you can't even use them. So I'm going to click Signmaster now. So this is software that's going to be in that folder. So just double click on Signmaster. This is a universal copy. So if you have it, as long as you have the PSN and all this other stuff, you'll be fine. So let this one take a bit to think. And then once it pops up, we'll start working with it. So yeah, it's here. So you just say yes. <laughs> uh, then it's going to ask you, well, if you're Dutch, if you're French, if you're German, whatever it is you are, just click English. We were colonized by Britain, so we speak English. So it's going to ask you this one, a future company, just say accept and then say next. Now here is going to ask you for the product serial number. Remember that thing? So I already copied this. I'm going to paste it in there and then say yes. Next. Then I'll accept and then say next and then next. Uh, it's going to ask you the metric. So if you 
Uh, if your country, like I said, if your country uses meters, uh, all these things happen uh, to be different in different countries. Uh, I use inch in my country. If you use meter, you select meter. Uh, but I use inch, so I'm going to say yes. Next. Now, here's where you have to be careful. Uh, the Sidemaster I am talking about actually works with Chinese machines. So uh, the Sidemaster that I supply comes from uh, my supplier. And the, the my supplier actually lists this. So that's why you even can't use this even if you wanted to. Because you have to use the machine that my supplier has, right? So if you are planning to buy a plotter, a cotton plotter, I'd recommend you come through me so that I can give you all the necessary things. Yeah, so this video might not necessarily help you if you don't have, especially at this portion of it, won't help you. But you then have to pick whatever cybers that comes with your machine. So, and then check on this one, install Comport driver and click next. Uh, install Corel Draw plugin, yes, next, say next. So, and that's pretty much it, right? It's going to take some time to load and run. Uh, by the time it's done, we'll not get to the other part of activating uh, Sidemaster on this new computer that we are installing it on. Um, let me just bore you with some detail. So, uh, I, so I, I hope you know that the cutting plotters are, are doing a lot more uh, than, you know, just a regular cutting of flex and flock and all of that cotton plotters if you watch my last video cotton plotters can also be used for uh, printing and cutting a situation where you print a sticker uh, maybe some interesting shape and they're not square they're not rectangle and even if it's square there's going to be a ton of them about a uh, hundred thousand pieces you're certainly not going to be cutting those things with the scissors would you no so you need some kind of software that helps you to digitally cut those things already laid on apply so uh, that's one of the good things why you need Simaster. Prior to now, I was using some really crooked method, but those ones couldn't really do contour cutting, which which is what this is uh, uh, perfectly. So Simaster is kind of like the solution to the problem. I've been coming with uh, cutting plotters since way back 2014 or so, and I've used all kinds of softwares. I've gone online to find the free ones, the, the paid ones. I even used to use Art Cut. But they don't really work as well as Simaster. Simaster kind of like solves all the problem you could ever imagine. And they've really grown better over the years. So that's pretty much what uh, uh, how good Simaster is, right? Anyway, so let's just continue. Uh, this guy is done. And then just click OK. And then uh, make sure you check this on. If you don't, you still uh, have to open it. Uh, so then click Finish. So uh, now it's going to install the driver for the computer that's also very important so simon's kind of like comes bundled like comes bundling everything in uh into one uh video i say it's the one video it comes bundled with one software so now we're done uh, uh because we checked on that it's going to launch here right now we're going to run into our first issue and which is the second part of this video which is to activate it on this particular system now, to do this, you actually have to be online. Like you were at to be online to be able to deactivate it. You actually have to be online. So always check if your uh, system says online uh, because this part of it really actually requires being online. So you see right off the gate, they're telling you to activate it. You're not going anywhere unless you do so. So now we're going to click activate. Now it has generated a new computer number. So mind you, your PSN is constant, but your computer number is not. So, uh, so remember that. So if you don't have a network connection, you will have to use another method, which I won't cover in this video. But this video is for those who have a constant internet network and then who already were able to deactivate from the previous computer. This is where it matters if you are deactivated prior to now. Because if you didn't deactivate prior to now, the problem you're going to have is that if your activation is full, which means you have used on as many computers as necessary, this part is not going to work. So hopefully this is going to work when I click activate. All right, let's do it. Uh, so I'll just click activate. And it's going to scan through its servers to find out if you already have um, Simaster installed uh, and it's complete. And if it discovers that you have one more space, it's going to activate like it just did. And that's pretty much it. So you just click exit uh close that and then you start a new work and a simaster is all good to go there's one way to know that simaster is good to go and we're going to wait for it to really initialize and we're, we're just going to type 
ASD, whatever that is. And then if you can see this pop up like this, then you're fine. Right? You're fine. <laughs> Otherwise, there's a bit of a problem. All right. So let me cover one last thing. Uh, so uh, we need one more thing to do. So if your computer, if your computer and your machine cannot be side by side, there's a situation whereby your machine and your computer may not be side by side. And so maybe it's too far. Maybe your machine is in one room and your computer is in another room. Uh, you need a way to be able to access that uh, machine without using a cable because suppose you you kept the machine upstairs but the your computer is downstairs where the customer is right there's really no way you pass a cable from downstairs upstairs right so there's one quick trick i want to show you here that's going to make your life really simple uh, and it is being able to you know save all of the content you want in a flash drive and then use that flash drive to work somewhere else so to make that happen right you then have to click on Select this guy and click on that. Uh, and then it's going to say cutter control or something. Uh, let's go to settings. It's not here. So I'm going to say cut now. Now it's going to bring up this um, page for you. And I'm looking for this particular place here. This here that says connection. F uh, from your uh, I mean, direct installation, you get this options that says port type. To be able to cut into a flash, you need to select the Windows port. Once you select Windows port, all of this place changes. Go back here. If you see direct com port brings all of this thing where you select your com port, whether com 4 or com 3 or whatever. That is if you're cutting with a USB cable. But if you don't want to do that, you want to cut into a flash, then you then have to pick Windows port. Now, once you pick Windows port, make sure you leave it as U-Disk. U-Disk is your flash drive. And then click Cut Now. So once you click Cut Now, it's going to open a dialog box where you can save stuff in a flash. You can call it Flash File. That is, rename the file as Flash, and then Save. So if you save this in a flash, like that then you take your flash copy that file right and then take it to your plotter and then cut so that's really how it works right it's that simple makes your life really easy so i think uh this will come to the end of this video in another video like i promised we're going to do a video live demo putting all of these things together and then uh, show you really how it works how to copy the flash and all of that uh so that's it i hope this has helped you if it has i want you to hit the subscribe button Hit the like button, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you in another video. Bye. Take care.